Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off this lesson by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakakadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone who rule well, and the bishops as well who have taught me this word in truth and sincerity. Peace and mercy to the elect that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. And the rest of you that sincerely believe, peace and mercy to you and your household. Um, quick lesson here. I'm in the title of this lesson. Uh, um, uh, Slack, give me a moment here. It just left my mind. Um, most are cut. Most are cut to bleed out. Few to heal. That's the title of this lesson. Most are cut to bleed out. Few to heal. All right. So most of Israel are going to be cut by this truth to bleed out and die. All right. Where the few, the few members of Israel, okay, the few Israelites are going to be cut so they, that, so that they can be healed. There's a difference. So let's start off with four Hebrews four and, uh, and 12. It's going to be a quick to the point. Hebrews four and 12. For the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than two sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even the divining asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Right? So that's this word. Which who is the word? The word is Yahweh Shai. Right? Let me get Two precepts that back that up. Psalms 40 and 7. It says here, um, Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the whole book. It is written of me. See, the whole book was written of Yahweh Shai. Right from the prophets, so like it, right from the law, the law was pointed to Yahweh Shai, um, up until the prophets who spoke of Yahweh Shai. And then up until when Yahweh Shai came, and uh, you had the apostles and the disciples under them that all followed under Yahweh Shai. So everything's written about Yahweh Shai. Everything's about Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay? And so the word that cuts Israel is Yahweh Shai. You see? And he fulfilled that when he came on the scene. That's why us being servants of Yahweh Shai, he is our Lord. When we teach his doctrine, when we teach his words, which he got from his father, Yahweh, guess what? Israel hates the prophets. They get cut by these words, but the majority of Israel is going to get cut and bleed out. And when you bleed out and you lose a lot of blood, guess what? You die. Where you can get cut by the word, okay? And if you, and then if you take care of that cut, which is really you repenting, okay? That's you repenting. If you take care of that cut, guess what? You heal. You It heals. Okay? Another way to think of it is all of us Israelites have poison in our body, right? The poison in the flesh and the poison in this world. Now, when you have, you ever see in movies when there's poison in a person's body, what do they do? They cut the person open and basically either suck out the blood or, uh, or push out the blood, all right, so that the poison can get out as well. So that's what this word is doing, is cutting Israel so that that poison can get out. But a lot of Israelites don't want to heal, okay? The majority of Israelites, they don't want to heal. They want to stay broken, downtrodden, okay? And basically black, all right? Which you, are, you should already know what that word means. If you don't, look it up for yourself. That's what they want to stay. They don't want to stay. They don't want to get cut. And then they don't want their, their wounds to heal. Where the elect of Israel... Okay, we want to be healed. We already know we have poison in our body. So when we're cut, so that when we're cut, um, so that poison can be leaked out, we're okay with that. Okay, because we want to be healed, we want to be clean, and we want to be accepted of the Heavenly Father through His Son. You see? So let's go back. I'll read uh, Hebrews one more time. Um, yeah, Hebrews 4. In 12, it says, 
For the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and the marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. And that's what this truth does. It tells, it literally um, scopes out whether you're being wicked or not, whether you are wicked or not. There's a difference. The wicked are wicked. Two-thirds of Israel right now are being wicked. Just like um, you have fools and foolish, right? The ones that pertain to being fools, which is the foolish, are Israelites, but they weren't made to be fools, you see? And that's why heavy judgments come coming upon Israel because you're acting, you're basically acting degenerate. You're being rebels, okay? And above all, you're being stubborn and you're joining hand in hand with the wicked. So you're going to be destroyed with the wicked. Now, let's go to the next precept here. Um, let me go back to my notes. I had it in my notes. Luke 2 and 25. So, I'm going to read down to 38. Luke 2 and, tw 2 and 25, it reads, And it was revealed unto him. Oh, let me start at uh, 20. Yeah, sorry. I was at 26. So 25, it says here, Luke 2 and 25. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem who whose name was Simon or Simeon. And the name and the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. Right. Which was Yahweh Shai. The consolation of Israel was Yahweh Shai. And the Holy Spirit was upon him and it was revealed on, unto him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he hath seen the Lord, um, the Lord's anointed, Yahweh's anointed, which is Yahweh Shai. And he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in, uh, brought in the child Yahweh Shai to do for him after the custom of the law, then took he, then took he him up in his arms and blessed Yahweh and said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai now let us now let let us thou my servant depart in peace according to thy word for mine eyes have seen the salvation thy salvation you see salvation is only through Yahweh Shai okay and the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and not only those names but you have to walk in the reputation of those names. Yahweh Shai's name has a reputation tied to it. The Most High's name has a reputation tied to it. It goes further than just knowing the names. You have to, you have to understand the names, right? Stand under the subject that you're that that you're um, um, that you're learning. And the subject is Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Okay, you have to understand those names. You have to walk by those names. Okay, um, or walk in those names. Then, where am I at here? Right, verse 30. Verse 31, it says, Which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to listen, a light to, to lighten the Gentiles, which are Israelite foreigners, okay? And the glory of thy people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. Right, because they must, you know, they were just, Joseph and Mary were just, you know, they, they were still catching up to the fact that they had a child, okay, or the child that was, that was set, that was spoken of in, in the prophets, right, the Old Testament, and was pointed to in, in the law. That was a huge thing for them, and they were still catching up to that fact, okay? So it says, and uh, Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary, his mother, behold, this child is set, and this is the point, okay? This child is set to be, is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel, you see? Yahweh Shah was set for the fall and rising of many in Israel. So the rising would be those that are of the elect, you see, that were gifted with faith by the Heavenly Father, okay, ever since they were in the womb of their mothers, and all, would, and all it would take is for them to hear the words of Yahweh Shai, which he got his doctrine from the Heavenly Father for their, um, for, for, for their spirit to be ignited, right? To do the work. 
right? But then a lot of other Israelites would hear the word um, of, of the Heavenly Father through his son, Yahweh Shai, and they would get cut open and bleed out. They would be offended, okay? And they wouldn't want to repent. It's the same thing now. We are speaking the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai, which he got from his father, and the same thing is happening, man. We're in Acts 2.0, like Apostle Har likes to coin it. We're in Acts 2.0. Um, Mary, his mother, behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel and for a sign which shall be spoken against, right? Let's see NLT. It says, then Simeon blessed them and he said to Mary, the baby's mother, um, this child is, de is destined to cause many in Israel to fall, but he will be a joy to many others. You see NLT. <laughs> Try to make it seem the others are other nations. Anyways, man, I'm not going to continue with that. And for a sign, going back to the King James, of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Verse 35, yea, a sword shall pierce, a sword, right? Hebrews 4 and 12. Yea, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also. So she was going to be cut too. We're all going to get cut. We all get cut, man, by the hell by all shot. Okay? But the majority get cut to bleed out, and the rest, the few, are cut to heal. Yea, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also, that, that, that the thoughts of many hearts, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. That's Hebrews 4 and 12, man. That's Hebrews 4 and 12. Um, yeah, that's the point there. That's the point. So let's get a couple more precepts. I'm going to close it out. So rock 18 and 27, it says, um, a wise man will fear in everything. And in the day of sinning, right, he will beware of offense. And what does it mean that a wise man will fear in everything? Does that mean you, you, you know, you walk around. Um, trembling and afraid to do what you're supposed to do. No, you're still supposed to be confident, right, in this truth. But the fear really just has you being obedient, all right? Just doing doing the will of the Lord, just doing the right thing, you know, not overcomplicating the truth, keeping it simple, because the, 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 the truth really is simple, all right? Is it easy? No, but it's simple, right? And if you keep, if you keep the truth simple, you can be more efficient in doing the work, when things are complicated, all right, it's, it's hard to be efficient when things are complicated. So that's why, apart from starting from the apostles on down, they talk about that acronym KISS, keep it simple, stupid, or keep it simple, keep it short and simple. Either way, however you want to say it. But keep this truth simple so that we can be efficient. So it says, verse 27, a wise man will fear in everything. And in the day of sinning, he will beware of offense. That's right. Because if you're being obedient to the Heavenly Father, all right, you have, you're basically staying in the spirit. And if you're staying in the spirit, you could be aware of the flesh. You could be aware of wickedness. And that's how you, that's how you repent. If you can't, if you're not aware of your wickedness, how are you going to repent? Right? And two thirds are walking out here around, cut open, not even know, not even knowing they have, they have cuts or they're rebellious to the fact that they have, that they're full of cuts and they're just bleeding out. And what happens when you bleed out? Eventually you're going to die. We're two thirds or we're the elect, you know, we're cut by the word, but we're aware that we're cut. Okay. And we want to be healed. So we pray upon you, Bashim El Shai, our physician, right? Who heals us. It says, but a fool will not observe the time, you see? And that's exactly what it is. Israel doesn't know what time we're in, man. And we can't become foolish as well in overlooking the time that we're in, man. We got to stay vigilant and stay spiritual, Right? Faithful and, and within the fear of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Let's see if I got one more here. Proverbs 29 and 1. Let me get that. And I'll close it out on there. So Proverbs 29 and 1. And it reads, He, he that being often reproved, hardened his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed. And that without remedy, you see, 
uh, in NLT, it says, whoever stubbornly refused to accept criticism, which is who is it coming from? See, a lot of you Israelites, all right, are, and, and even within the body, it happens to us too. When you're getting criticized, okay, by, by the words of Yahweh Hashim El Shai, which are spoken by his, uh, by his men, his servants, you, you get offended because you, you, all you see is a man criticizing you. And, you, and, and that makes you pride, pride, uh, proud, right? But you're not listening to the words that that man's speaking. The words that a man, that man, or that, that, that man is speaking is coming from the Heavenly Father, coming from, his, uh, from Yahweh Bashim El Shai, the Heavenly Father and His Son, okay? And that's why you got to stay spiritual, man. If you, if you get carnal, then you're just going to see the man that's speaking to you. And, and then get overtaken by the tone he might be speaking into you, speaking speaking in instead of just taking in the words that the man's speaking okay it happens to all of us but two thirds they're 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 gone man they take that they take that and run with it and that's why they killed the prophets because all they saw was men and then that makes them carnal minded they didn't see the spirituality behind what those men were speaking says, who, whoever stubbornly refuses to accept criticism will suddenly be destroyed beyond recovery. <laughs> Man, call Allah, Yahweh, Shai for this truth. You know, because beyond recovery means you're not going to make it on this side. You're not going to come back into the kingdom. All right? You'll be utterly destroyed on this side if you want to keep re rebelling and rejecting Yahweh, Shai, Shai, man. This truth is not a joke. So with that, I'm going to close out, giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Ruel, and the bishops as well, who have taught me this word in truth and sincerity. Peace and mercy to the elect that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. And the rest that the rest of you that sincerely believe, all right, peace and mercy to you, okay? Um, Abba, Abba, Kwame, Allah, and Shalom. Low willingness, the lesson was edifying to the elect. Shalom.